my channel. I hope you're all well. If you are new here, my name is Lydia. You can go and follow me on at Lydia Jane Tomlinson over on Instagram and also go and watch my other videos. I've got vlogs and styling videos and you can kind of get to know me a little bit better there. So today I've got a neutral styling video for you. I'm all about the neutrals and always have been to be honest, but I thought I'd do a video where it's purely neutrals. There's no even black or gray or anything like that in there. And I think it's a really nice tone for summer, especially an all neutral look. I just think it looks so chic, so effortless, and also nice and summery and light. So let's start off with this Vera Moda dress. It's like this gorgeous linen material. And what I love about this is the puff sleeves. I just think it looks so chic. And then the little tie waist in the middle, kind of a bit medieval style almost, but in a good way. Um, so it's got the little tie at the back and then some slits up the side, which I think make it a little bit more modern. And then I've just paired it with these shell earrings from a brand called Oscar. And they've got loads of nice, like goldy colored, like shell earrings. And then I've popped on with it my Zara sandals. These are absolute faithfuls and they pretty much go with everything. And just to complete the look, a straw bag from La Petite Sardine. They do the most amazing straw bags if you're in the market for one. I think this is just such a lovely holiday look, especially in the evening if you want to look a little bit dressier or if you're going out for a nice lunch or something without looking over the top. And I think the linen of it kind of makes it feel that way. And you know, if it decides to heat up in England, it would be perfect for here as well. So I'm gonna do a range of styles in the video. And this next one is quite a casual outfit, just day to day, out and about. But I think wearing neutrals in a casual way instantly makes it look a little bit more dressed up and pulled together. So I've got this satin midi skirt on from Zara, which I've worn so much actually. It was only $25.99 as well. And then a Uniqlo t-shirt. They do these in all different colors, but I went for the neutrally colored ones because I thought it would go with quite a lot. And then I've put it with this beige denim jacket from a brand called Pieces. I actually picked this up yesterday when I went to London. I got it in a size medium and it's such a nice lightweight fabric. It's not a really stiff denim and I think that's lovely for summer. And also a really good shade to wear with everything in your wardrobe. Throw it on, it looks casual, but also quite smart as well. And I've got my Nike Tech no trainers with it because they've got a hint of a beigey cream in which I thought would tie the whole outfit together and then Zach Posen crossbody bag. This is just such an easy and casual way to wear our beloved midi skirt. So next up I've got these Massimo Dutty trousers which I've worn quite a lot since getting them only the other week. They're just such a nice pair of trousers, really easy to wear in a very kind of pale taupe shade I guess you'd call it. I've just decided to tie them at the waist but they're really flattering, they're just a balloon shape, so comfortable as well. I love Massimo Dutti as a brand, especially if you're looking for really good, not basic, something a bit more than basic, but classic pieces that you can tie into your wardrobe already. They do just such good versions. And then I've got this balloon sleeve top from Zara, which I think is just a really nice way to dress up a pair of trousers. Earrings from Mango and then my Zara shoes. But this is just a really nice outfit if you're going out for a drinks in summer and it's not boiling hot, but it's still quite warm. Okay, so next is my monkey jumpsuit. I think this is a really nice piece dressed up or down and a good way to do neutrals head to toe is through a jumpsuit. I've dressed it down here, just popped it on with my faithful Adidas Stan Smith. But equally, I think you can wear them with the Zara strappy sandals that I had on before. And then I've got this kind of khaki top Zach Posen bag with it, which I just think kind of picks out the undertone in the jumpsuit and ties it all together. I actually I saw a girl wearing this in London yesterday and she had it buttoned all the way to the top. So I thought I'd try that out, but I also like it undone a little bit as well. It looks a bit more casual that way. And a jumpsuit is just a really easy way to wear neutrals. Okay, so I often get asked about kind of airport outfits and like nice comfy casual outfits. And this definitely fits the bill. So I've got my Under the Stories jeans on, which I wear to death. Zara sandals, I've got a mango jumper which is so nice. When I last looked they only had a small left but I'll link it below and keep looking out. This was a medium, but I equally think a small would have been absolutely fine because it is a bit oversized anyway. And then I've got my Massimo Dutti scarf with it, which I got whilst we were in Parma. And it's just such a nice, easy scarf to throw on if you're a little bit cool, especially for the airport if you're traveling and you need a scarf just to throw on on the plane when they've got the air conditioning on. It's a really good piece 
nice to have and also on holidays too because it's nice and lightweight but still keeps you a little bit warmer. So I guess you'd call this next outfit a holiday outfit too. I've got Zara kind of slightly off-white trousers on. This is a nice outfit for the evening on holiday. I think the trousers make it a little bit smarter, but you could equally wear this with something a little bit more casual, maybe some beige shorts or something like that to dress it down. But in the evening, pop it on with these trousers and it's a slightly smarter look. So again, a really good one for the airport. Obviously got holiday on my mind. Are these H&M joggers? They're so comfy. Linen joggers, $17.99. They also do a slightly dear repair, which I think are about 22. But these ones, $17.99, I wear them all the time. They're just so easy, comfortable, but still look good. I've got a Zara top on, which I spoke about in a haul, but I just think it's a nicer alternative to a t-shirt because it's a little bit textured. The sleeves are a little bit longer, but it still is kind of casual. And you can just throw it on as you would a plain white t-shirt. And then my Adidas Stan Smiths, just really easy and casual. Okay, my favorite shirt at the moment is this Arquette beige shirt. It literally goes with everything and makes everything look smarter instantly. So here I've popped it on with my Under the Stories jeans and then tan sandals again from Zara and the Loewe bag just to kind of tie in that tan and beige together. I wore a similar outfit the other day but with denim jeans but I think the all neutrals just work so well. And then I popped my Nasty Girl trench on and don't think this is available anymore but I'll try and find as close an, as an alternative as possible. This is great for slightly cooler days, maybe put trainers on instead if it's raining or something like that, but it's a really nice, easy, casual look that still looks put together. And finally, I thought I'd do something a little bit smarter. So I've got these Lovies trousers on in a size 10 and this gorgeous mango blouse. It's got button details on the shoulder. It's so nice and instantly looks dressed up. And then I've paired it with my Zach Posen bag and earrings by Azarina Store, which I'll also link below. And then my Zara white sandals with them just to tie it all together. They're kind of off-white, so they pretty much go with everything. But this is just a lovely formal look if you're going out for a nice meal or something like that. It's a great one to go for. And again, I just think the neutrals make it look so smart, so classic and pulled together. So thank you for watching my neutral styling video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I got so much positive feedback from the last one I did that was quite similar to this. So I thought I'd do it again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Bye.